Hello, this is Jim Holland. Currently, I am unable to come to the video. At the beep, if you will wait 10 seconds, you will be able to see the video. Hey, this is Jim Holland, and I am here with a quick church hack that has to do with one of Church Ops Consulting Big Four. Today's one of Big Four is in the area of communication. It's like he's trying to speak to me, I know it! Pastors have to be able to communicate more than just on the weekend in a service. They have to communicate with people in everyday situations. So what we're talking about today is pretty simple. Respond to people. Let me explain what I'm talking about. A pastor friend of mine was trying to get in touch with another pastor, Pastor Jimmy Joe Bob. It wasn't anything urgent. He just wanted to ask Jimmy Joe Bob about a ministry that they had at his church. He emailed a few times and never heard back. And a few months later, he ran into Pastor Jimmy Joe Bob and he asked him, Hey, did you get my emails? Pastor Jimmy Joe Bob said, Oh yeah, I, I got them. I just haven't had a chance to get back to you. A few months and the message today is pretty simple it's probably something they didn't teach in pastor school and it's just this respond to people even if you don't have time and even if you don't want to and even if you don't like them if you get an email from someone you've got mail and you don't have time to deal with it or maybe you just don't want to deal with it at, at that moment send a reply that says hey use their name thanks for the email about blank at the moment, I really can't respond to you the way that I would like to, but I will get back to you as soon as I am able. One, when your reply has your email about blank, it affirms to them that they were heard. And this communicates that you understand the reason that they contacted you. Using their name makes it personal. Okay, let's say that you have an office and you have an assistant and you get a voicemail from someone and maybe you can't talk to them and maybe you really just don't want to talk to them at that moment. Don't ignore it. Have your assistant call and say, hey, we got your voicemail and the pastor will get back to you as soon as he can. Now, if you get a phone call on your mobile cellular device and for whatever reason you don't take the call, reply with a text and say something similar. Let them know that you will get back to them. Then be a person of your word and actually get back to them, even if they are the official complainer of your church. Now, what if you're out of the office for a few days and you get a butt ton of emails? Set your email to auto reply. Have it just say, hey, I'm out of the office for a while and as soon as I get back, I will go through my emails and I promise I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Then when you get back, reply personally and address what their reason for contacting you actually was. Now, one of my favorite pastor friends does this and I just love it. Whenever he gets an email, it auto replies and this is what it says. Because of the volume of email I receive, it takes me a bit to get through my email. I will read your email and respond in a thoughtful manner. But if your matter is urgent, you may also attempt to reach me by phone at during office hours. I'm usually in the church office Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. And I only check email once a day. And then he always gets back to people. The main point is that not replying to people, whether they are on staff, whether they're inside your church or outside your church, or some weirdo that you have no idea who they are, it's kind of a jerk thing to do. And it reflects poorly on you and poorly on your church. But replying, even just to say, hey, Pastor Jimmy Joe Bob, I will get back to you as soon as I can. It says you value people and the reason that they are contacting you. It seems rather obvious, but we get busy or we don't want to talk to people or we can't talk to people and we don't communicate well. So be a good communicator, value people and reply to them. <laughs>